Choosing the right partition key is crucial to achieving good performance and scalability in DynamoDB. Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokcha DB, and in this video, you're going to learn five things that you should know before choosing a partition key in DynamoDB. Number one, a good partition key should have high cardinality, meaning that it should have a large number of distinct values. This ensures that the data is evenly distributed across various partitions, which results in better performance and scalability. Examples include email ID, employee number, customer ID, session ID, and order ID. Attention! Number two, choose a partition key that will be frequently queried. The partition key is used to retrieve data from DynamoDB, so it should be chosen based on the most common queries that will be performed. If a partition key is rarely queried, it will result in uneven distribution of data, which may lead to hot partitions, which can cause performance issues. Number three, avoid using always increasing values as partition keys, such as timestamps. This can cause all new data to be written to the same partition, resulting in a hot partition. And as mentioned earlier, uneven distribution of data can impact the performance of the database. Whoa, boy! Number four, consider using composite partition keys, which means you should try to combine more than one attribute to form a unique key. For example, you could use a combination of customer ID, product ID, and country code as a composite partition key if that meets your access pattern. Last but not the least, number five, cache popular items when there is a high volume of read traffic using DynamoDB, Accelerator, or DAX. It is a fully managed in-memory cache for DynamoDB that will prevent reads of unusually popular items from swamping partitions. That's what I'm talking about. There you have it. Remember, you cannot change a partition key after the table is created. And by following these best practices, you can choose a partition key that will optimize performance and scalability in Amazon DynamoDB. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.